to get with the programming I'm Chase Ingram. I'm Captain America. And along with me is Bill Grunler. Wolverine. And John Young is a freaking legend. Dude, he's a beast. Now, I didn't know beast. it was going down that early. I had to go back and look at it because I saw the, the chat start blowing up and I was like, what? what Dude, I, ha I had no idea either. I had no idea. I mean, I know they were talking about it last night. So if you guys, there's been a lot happening in the space in the last, I don't know, 12 hours. Last night on the Spin, yeah. Brian yeah. Spin podcast, which is, uh, I still don't know Brian's last name, but I like that it's Spin. Remember when we thought Mike's <laughs> last name was Cadre for like six years? <laughs> I know. <laughs> and apparently it's Richards. <laughs> in, 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 in old in old CF Media, Mr. CF Media. Yeah, Jason CF Media. Every time I hear his last name, I was like, that's not right. Yo, who's uh, that? Peter's name. I don't know who that is. It's, it's weird that someone calls him Peter now. I feel like it's almost inappropriate when I hear yeah, how Peter. How dare you? Like, oh, there's no Peter. It's just weird how much we've changed people's uh, names, uh, personas. Personas, yeah. Religions at time. Who knows? It depends uh, <laughs> what Savant's talking about on his podcast. But last right. night, it was Colton Mertens versus Jake Berman in 100 bar facing burpees for time. And that was awesome. $1,000 on the line. But like, I want to say double that seemed to come in through the comments and donations on the show and Colt Mertens went what, like 319 dude it was disgusting you went so okay yeah have you seen like in the old uh like sitcom shows where they they have the the sitcom dad Is that the total know? tim guy we'll, we'll get to that hold hold please augustus yeah he'll EPA, EPA. Awesome. the official cpa um, of our, him and where uh, where there's like the big game is on and you you, you see the dad is like he's got his little secret ear piece in he's trying to listen to yeah. the game while yeah, yeah, he's yeah. like at some meeting or whatever Oh, yeah, because you were at a talent that show That was night. totally me yesterday, dude. <laughs> that was totally me. So granted, you know, my, my daughter was in, they had this art and craft show and, and her class was singing and she was she was one of the solos. And they were they were doing Bob Marley's Three Little Birds, which is fine. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Um, she was all excited to get up there. And I, you know, I love my kids. I love watching my kids do whatever their thing is. Mm -hmm. So I'm all in. But other outside of that. It was like kindergartners doing a bell song and mm -hmm. kids learning how to play the instruments for the first time. Oh yeah. yeah anyway. Yeah. So outside of my daughter singing, I had the, the race on my phone my <laughs> ear like this the whole time. And <laughs> I'm listening to like Colton going and, and his trash talking afterwards and, and Jake going down and the countdown and, you know, Sevon's got his text going on of like what the splits are like, 30 reps and then here's Dude, 50 reps. Splits from Savannah, I'm like, who are you? you like <laughs> was, he puts on this persona that he doesn't pay attention or cares. Like that dude knows so much. I uh, did. It was crazy. I'm it was him so on the, the fun. Dude, it was the funnest hundred burpees I've ever been like mm. remotely around. The the whole who like it's a fucking hundred burpees. Who gives a shit about a hundred burpees? But the fact that it was this kind of a race, yeah, was unreal. Unreal, and that show went off. Oh, by the way, I didn't know you could do this, Augustus. You gifted a membership. You can do that. Whoa! To Jam the Fit Life, huh? You guys are cool. You guys are cool. That's awesome. Thank you guys for doing that. Uh, and then after that show, it was Tim. Yeah, and the fittest. Is it dwarf? Can we? Is that the? I don't know. I think that. Yeah, you guys get it. Get over yourselves, little people. Dwarf, whatever. Tim Murray who is the fittest dwarf from 2023, yep. raced his own 100 bar facing burpees afterwards. And it was like $1,000 if you beat the best time. But being the CrossFit community, this was on the Savan podcast afterwards, there was a, a tally going. And from, I guess, Sarah Cox of CA Peptide, she's like, hey, win or lose, you're getting it, buddy. Which was awesome. Dude, Dude. went for it. He still went, what, like four... What did he go for something four oh something? Yeah, it was like right over Ooh. the four minute mark. And then the donations flooded in. Augustus is saying it's like around thirty five hundred dollars. That's so crazy for a hundred bar facing burpees. Like that's it. That's it, guys. I mean, All the I OG would do stuff we talk about. I'm wearing the damn sh hoodie. I love it. I would. I would do that for. Well, I mean, I would do it for like ten dollars, let alone thirty five hundred dollars. Well, like we talked cool about this yesterday. Dude? I would do it for. Uh, you can't do this. Like, right. I bet talking. you can't. Totally. I'm like all right. And then in hold, the middle of that my show, beer. <laughs> yeah. In the middle of that show, and then I die. 
was uh, everyone's giving John Young crap because everybody, that's what they do. 414. Oh, that's so fast. Oh, 414. John Young comes on the Savant podcast this morning, gets duped into it. And the goal was to break five minutes. I I think that was like, hey, we'll give you, I think, I think Sarah put up another $1,000. And then some dude in the comments was like, I'll give you 500 to break five minutes, which I hope he does. Because he put it in there a lot last night and this morning. <laughs> yeah, right. But John, if I don't want to ruin it, actually, it wouldn't ruin no, it. Even it won't ruin it. It won't ruin it. Go to Savant's pot that he just did. Like Brooke Entz was on it, but she's not on until way later. Like just go watch the first 20 minutes. And John Young goes out there and sells his soul for 100 bar phasing burpees and break. It gets 459. The coolest thing about what John did is John routinely talks about how, I mean, he's just a lifter guy. He's mm-hmm. strong AF. That dude is powerful. And this right here is just a, I mean, a classically little guy race, little guy, light guy, endurance guy. And dude, he went for it. Oh, the guy did donate it. Good for him. Wow. Yeah. God, where does this money Amazing. come from? Amazing. Amazing. That, that was cool. The, the cool thing, too, and we talked about this a, a bit, um, that, well, Taylor's commentary during it and, <laughs> and during Tim's was, like, fantastic. It's like, so if, the, if, we're, if there wasn't, like, censorship on a live broadcast, okay, I guess on YouTube there's not. Right. Taylor would be hilarious to have, like, on one of those side podcasts. Dude, when he gets off on his rants, it is the best. But, not just that, but when he gets into – what someone's doing like it is so genuine oh totally like yeah. these are the things i want to say on a broadcast i know <laughs> i know <laughs> right <laughs> but yeah but you get there's the there's the air of professionalism that you have to have but that's what makes it so fun is that it's it's yeah, comedy, so raw dude it's coming on raw. john's butt jiggling when he gets to the ground i was like we were all looking at it i was looking at it and i was like that guy's <laughs> got a big butt like a big strong booty <laughs> And it moves a lot when it hits the ground. And then Taylor's like, look at his ass jiggle. I'm like, all right, well. <laughs> <laughs> all right. There yes, is. we are. Yes. But I want to say in the last 12 hours, what Spin Show did, Safan Show did last night and this morning, like they infused with the, with the beauty of the community and just the fans, like what, six to 10 grand Insane. into the space just for – a hundred bar for facing doing burpees. burpees, dude. But for it's not about the burpees. burpees. It's not about it. It's, it was. It's that's it, man. It was that just was all commu- it, that was all fun community stuff. You know what I mean? Just like the fun mm-hmm. community stuff, rallying around these two guys that are like, okay, yeah, we'll do burpees. Sure, we'll go. Yeah. I mean, it, it wasn't a fight. I mean, it was fun to have a little trash talking in there. That was kind of fun. But yeah. uh, it, it like this is. I mean, I come from a wrestling background, dude. Like, where when you're gonna go toe to toe with someone, like you literally go toe to toe with them. Right. When if I'm doing burpees, burpees kind of like a swimming. Like, I can't control how fast you go. Like, we're just swimming, or we're just doing burpees. Yeah. So it's it's not like if you think about what it is, it's not that exciting. But the fact of the matter is, is that we all know what burpees are like. Everyone from yeah. three years old to eighty years old knows what a goddamn burpee is. And to have these guys race it mm. again, if you were to tell a class to do hundred burpees, they'd be, you'd be getting the finger all day long. Yeah. But this was so fun. It was so community driven. Um, the way the community poured out, like, I mean, the donations are amazing. That's just, it, it's kind of confusing to me. Like I am shocked that that kind of stuff happens like that. So in such Dude, I saw big, like broad amount, comments come in. I'm like, right. It's crazy. You guys but are it, nuts. It was, man, dude, I, I I hate to say it, but like that is an element that that uh, like the CrossFit has just missed. Now look at these opportunities, dude, that are just there. That are sitting you know there on the table. Feels like it feels like the Rogue verse again faster days. One hundred percent. You know what I mean? Where it's like, hey, turn your cameras on. Let's just go, go make something it. cool happen. Right. Yeah. It was yeah. Really I heard fun. like during the day. Uh, spin is he's just happening. We're to pull off without any glitches. Uh, also, that counter, will you send that over? <laughs> that <laughs> was, so uh, was uh, I guess, StreamYard. Uh, there's a couple different platforms people use for like streaming their podcast. StreamYard's one, uh, Restream, I think Riverside. I mean, I'm not even like pumping any of these, but I guess there's a problem with StreamYard yesterday where it wasn't 
loading shut up down, YouTube, right, yeah. like it shut down, but then it was like erasing people's recorded podcasts. I feel like that happened yesterday with Pedro's podcast, yeah, yeah. yeah. which, you know, depending on who the guests was and the answers they gave, you know, <laughs> sorry. Um, but <laughs> yeah. So what a cool couple of days. And then here's us. <laughs> Well, but we're still cool, one, because we're like fixing the things that need to be fixed, that we think need to be fixed. And then we're just, Mm -hmm. I mean, dude, the prediction stuff, you know, it's just as fun as the guessing of the Dave Castro's, you know, his little hint for the the open or whatever it is. Yeah. I think. Uh, Yeah. I think. I I got stuck, actually. It was hard. I'm not going to lie, dude. It was hard coming up with some fresh stuff after we retooled the other one. Mm. Shit yeah. got stuck in my it head was. and that, was, yeah, that was hard I had to break out of that a little bit um, I, I didn't really copy anything I was just I, eventually I landed on things that I'm, I'm pretty I think we'll do a decent job overall but um, with the formats and things I think it's going to be yeah, we'll see yeah we'll see but, but we'll, uh, yeah we'll, we'll dive into that before we get there tomorrow before everybody bails and go watch shut up and scribble right now I get it it's okay well, you just come back and watch later. As long as you come back, watch at some point in time. Uh, tomorrow, the fittest show, the fittest game show on earth. CrossFit Jeopardy debuts. Same time, same place. John Young versus Bill Grumler versus Taylor Self. In ultimate CrossFit trivia knowledge. Am I the, am, is my age, their ages put together? Oh, oh shit. Is it? How old are those guys? Are they like 24? I want to ask. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> well, actually, it's kind of cool, but it sucks. Well, let me see this. How old are you guys? Augustus, will you stop chatting with me in that link that we have on the screen right now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. But uh, yes, that'll be tomorrow. Um, if you guys want to be as cool as Augustus, you guys can click this join button right here. Become a member. Three bucks. Three bucks or, or five. Really, it's like three ninety nine, five ninety nine. But don't worry about those 99 cents. They don't count. If they're not at the front, they don't count. Uh, Taylor's 28, John's 20. Oh, phew, that's close. That's a, year, that's a year difference. That's 56. I'll be 55. If their ages month. combined, they make wow. one Bill Grumler. <laughs> one Bill Grumler. Um, I got enough yeah, hair, though, for both of them. I got enough hair for both of them. Yes, that'll be tomorrow. Uh, I'm super pumped. I am... Uh, just like any show we debut, we're putting ourselves out there. We, I, me, Barkley, <laughs> and uh, this creation. But it's going to be awesome. And How'd the not, test not, run go? How'd the test run go? The test run went great. Okay. The test one went great. In fact, I'll show you guys a test run of a blank screen. Because we're not going to show you the categories today. But uh, here you go. This is, this is what the show is going to look like. We have a board. Mm. We have a board. We have five categories. And in these five categories, you've got $200 to $1,000 worth of points. Uh, maybe one day we'll get sponsored enough uh, to, to make money. I, I will say is that uh, Bub's Naturals is coming on board to sponsor the show. Yes. Cross and Jeopardy so presented by Bub's Naturals. Thank you, Bub's. Yeah, Bub's. You guys go to the website, bubsnaturals.com. Just use the code GWTP. That's it, and you get 20% off everything there. And I don't want to speak too far ahead, but I believe I've worked out something like the winner may get a special package from Bubs of all their products. Dang. So the winner's going to get something, but here it is. Pick a, Bill, pick a category and a, a dollar amount, just, just for fun. Okay, category three, $600, category three, right? $600? Smack dab in the middle. And what's going to happen is, like, I will click this button right here. It'll take you to the question, and the question will be read, and you'll have time to answer the question. And then once you read said question, the answer will pop up. And once the answer popped up, we get to go back to the board. But by then, by the magic of Barkley, the 600 will be blacked out, and the number of dollars will be entered into your name. That's so cool. And we will be doing this until we are done, up until Final Jeopardy. There's a double jeopardy in here somewhere. Oh, man, dude. Hiding in the wings. Hiding in the wings. But this will be tomorrow. So I really hope you guys can make it. Um, Barkley has put in a shiz ton of work. 
on the it, back. Dude, end. you know, okay, I was already nervous. I have as well. When uh, he's when he goes, Bill, have you been studying? I was like, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> that that's what needs to happen. Oh crap. <laughs> mm, yes. Yes. Okay. Uh um, not to add any more pressure, Jewel says you I just means know. you better win, Bill, with all your wisdom. Um, I'm just hoping that Alzheimer's doesn't set in. That's what yes, I'm hoping. Yes, yes, yes. We'll have some fun. <laughs> we'll have some fun tomorrow. Visions of SNL Jeopardy. Yes. Uh, do I, do I yeah. get to be the Sean Connery? Yeah, every button I click, I'll be I'll be puckered up a little bit to hopefully it doesn't go to uh, – sometimes I click the wrong space and it like goes to the wrong card. I'm like, that's my fault. <laughs> Like, oh, what answer is that question for? Uh, yes, Lido, we'll do the, uh, the, we'll, we'll give you a little rundown on Jeopardy rules for it. But as simple as there's someone who controls the board and they can pick the category. Uh, once the question is read, everybody can answer the question. They have to buzz in to take charge of answering the question. If they get it right, they get the money. If they get it wrong, they lose the money. Um, I will tell you that um, we had Tyler Watkins. Uh, Pedro and JR run, test run this uh, just to see difficulty of questions and format and make sure all the links work. And um, Pedro netted out at $0. <laughs> oh my God, I hope I can do that. JR had 3,600. Wow. And uh, Tyler had negative 1,600. So it was really a good, <laughs> there was a lot of effort, not a lot of answers, but a lot of effort. So this will be tomorrow. <laughs> uh, this will be tomorrow. But today, we are going to analyze, or sorry, predict the programming of the 2024 CrossFit quarterfinals that will be coming up next Wednesday. Wednesday, yeah. And uh, I have a little design here. Now, here's what I'd like to do, since I, I have some things written on here, but I would like your stuff written on here, too. I don't know what Bill guessed, but if it's anything like what we did last uh, what uh, Monday... Yeah. <laughs> we are going to get three of the same ones, apparently, and not tell <laughs> each other what they're going to be. So we'll do this. I'll go first since I have mine on here. Okay. You can go second, and I'll add yours as we go so people have something to look at while we talk. Okay. So, drum rolls, please. This is Get With The Programming's 2024 CrossFit Quarterfinals Predictions Limitations. I don't know if limitations is a fair word, although I believe you believe limitations is a fair word. I think it is, yeah. Uh, number of events, we were told it's four. However, you know, with Dave, you never know. It's like, hey, it's four programmed events, but maybe there's five scores, kind of a, you know, little word play. 25% um, is advancing from the open. Last year was 10%. So it's a different average field of fitness that is coming to play. The four workouts that they have have all been promoted that they can be done in a group class setting. In a one-hour time frame, that can be done in any affiliate. That has the prerequisite equipment, but I think that was more geared towards garage gym goers where we're probably going to get on a pull-up rig. Teams had ring muscle-ups, you know, wall balls. Like, there, there's just some things you have to have as you advance in the season. Open, okay. Quarterfinals, much different. So within those parameters, I have based my programming. So this is, for the shit I got about my wall ball target last Monday. <laughs> Do you like my answer to that? <laughs> yeah. This is not what I want to do. This is what I think it could be based off the, I will say, restrictions and bumpers I have been provided. Is that fair? Or did you do that? Or you're like, this is what I want. Take it or leave it. Uh, no. I, okay. So uh, earlier when I said that it was hard um, coming out of the last reprogramming that we did. Yeah. It was at the, the plus side to that was it was like, okay, I kind of see from that it kind of gave us the idea of what it should look like so that did kind of keep me in a in a particular little vein mm -hmm. um i did think about um those parameters how it could be run what it would need to be um the way that the it it could be set up uh those types of things so i i i use those basic same things and, and i 
didn't choose what I want. Okay. But I like what I picked because I think, like, for me, they, they work within the confines uh, even the type of athlete that we're looking at with the certain, the, the, the skill set that, that we want to be able to move on to whatever yeah. and can still be run in a regular class, but I still like them. So I, <laughs> regardless I, of, of what they are, I, I, I actually ended up being pretty happy. I was, I was having a hard time in the beginning, but, um, they, they, they turned out. okay. I'm with you. I am. I'm happy with mine. John said, John is 24. Taylor's 36. <laughs> That's what Pedro said. Uh, He's not 36, right. is he? There's no way. John said 29. Why the heck don't they answer? What the hell? Those guys talk all the well, time. Now they can't. I don't know about Taylor. John's 29. Okay. Taylor talks until you like ask him a question and then he freaking like disappears. <laughs> I'm like, hey, I have a question for you. And then he's like, gone. Like, gone. You, you text so much. I know. I know. Um, all right. Are, you, are, yours, are yours in order of. Uh... I did put mine in order of release, <laughs> even though. There's not really particular order, but I have it in order if, like, you had to do all four. Okay. Same um, thing. I, I put it in there. So. Same thing. All right. Let me share. Okay. That's it. Three, two, one. And here we go. All right. 2024 quarterfinals. I believe I spelled it all right. Yes. Event one. Here's mine. 10, 20, 30, 40. Are you smirking right now? A little bit. Oh, God. <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> Row cows, lateral burpees over the rower, and alternating dumbbell snatches at 70 and 50. Now, originally, I had it 40, 30, 20, 10. But in my head, I was like, all right, I'm beefing up the dumbbell. Everybody should be able, everybody should be able to use this. Flat out. You should be able to use this. You pulled 185 multiple times off the ground. You could probably handle a 70. You you. Thrustered 135, you could probably handle a 70 for a dumbbell snatch. But in my head, I was like, but I do want to get these people moving who are newer and maybe it's heavier and maybe 40 off the clip might just slow them down so much it kind of ruins the workout a little bit. But then I was thinking, well, I got to test these elite athletes a little bit better because if I just went 40, 30, 20, 10, man, it's just grip and rip city. Now you do have to row hard and you have to burpee fast because the dumbbell snatches will pretty much be even keel with the elite athletes. So I flipped it 10 to 40 because now that's going to add an element of, of difficulty even for the elite at the paces at which they should be going. So this is my first one. Easy little buy-in, nothing too hard. Very easy to judge, very easy to video, very easy to run in a group class setting. You just need a dumbbell and a rower. Uh, I can already see that you were having, um, and I, I wasn't smirking because I, the order may be a little bit different, but I can see some of the movements that we're doing that are similar. Okay. Um, I can I see like, already, no, 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 no. I can already see the influence that we had from the last event mm. on this event Okay. that you just did. Cause we talked about this last time about, um, you know, whether going up. Uh, in numbers or whatever, and how we should arrange that. And I also used uh, my my head was stuck in in our reprogramming, and so I took one of my reprogrammed versions of uh, one of the past quarterfinals because I really liked it, and I wanted to start off with um, some of the heavier stuff first. Mm. So what I did was the front squat and the uh, handstand element one. Oh, okay. Um, and so I did that one. So my first event is 21 front squats at 135.95. Okay. Um, nine wall walks. 15 front squats at 185.135. 15 wall facing handstand push ups. Oh. Nine front squats at 225.155. And then 21 deficit handstand push ups at the three and a half and two. Oh. Huh. Okay. Let me, let me write that down. You, you want me to just cut and paste it to you? I got it. Okay. So 21 front squats. 21 front squats. Nine wall walks. Right? Yep, yep. 15 front squats. I think the weights are right. Yeah, yeah, it's the same 35, one. 35, 85, 225? Yep. Same ones. And then you had 15. I had 15 wall-facing handstand push-ups. Oh, okay. And this one was deficit? And then I did deficit, uh, just regular deficit uh, handstand push-ups at the end. And the reason I was thinking that was originally... What, the, the like the two and a half and three? 
Yeah, yeah, whatever the numbers. Okay. Um, or or two three and a half and two, I think is what they yeah. had. Okay. Um I wanted I wanted to push I figured that the if I did the 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 wall facing, which is going to be difficult, if I went into the strict regular handstand pushups, I think that that would have been kind of the same thing. So I wanted it just to be like, okay, now you just got to finish. You just got to finish hard at the end. Okay. Um, so it didn't it didn't completely restrict you, uh, but the what the main thing for this for me was we got some pushing, and we got some heavier weight right out of the gate. So it wasn't mm. crazy heavy, but we got to go okay. Great job from the the open. You guys were able to move 185 pounds, and that's why well, you did. And you, you squatted 135 and 95. Now we'll kind of go up a little bit. So we we made that jump, and I I like that. Even though it, it's a repeat ish of one that we already had, I, I like the way that it fits, and I really like the setup of of when we were talking about it um, on Monday. Yeah. So that's my first one. Why did you want to do wall facing instead of just strict? Uh, because it would be strict and uh, anyway, and yeah, I that, think that, uh, it's just, a, it, it's like when you make, it's like when Dave would make the, uh, would make us do like thrusters at 170 pounds. Okay. It's just a tweak. Oh, all right. That's all. Uh, a couple questions here. Oh, and because we've seen them in the other, in the, like the, like the semis and, and some of the other okay. events. So I'm thinking, okay, it's, and it's not a lot. It's just a little, it's like a precursor. I mean, we did see him last year in semis, even right, though right. we saw him in quarterfinals prior to, and there's that trickle down. Okay. Uh, Spin is like, do you think the 70 pound dumbbell prevents garage gym athletes from signing up? No, I don't. Um, I think that goes along the lines of if you have a pull up bar, you should probably have a 70 pound dumbbell. If you're quasi serious about anything, as far as competition, would you sign up for? I, I feel like it should. And if not, Jump to a affiliate. Let, let me let me ask you. Let me ask you. How many? So we talked about the thirty inch box. That's a good question. And and uh, you said that you only had two in your gym. Yes. How many seventies did you have? <sighs> Ten. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ruben Waters. What about commercial rowers that are taller? He says, I guess the C two where they have there. Hey, you know, <laughs> go to a CrossFit affiliate. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Affiliate. Um, all right. I like that. All right. That number two. Where am I? Ah, number two. I like how this updates real time, but it doesn't watch me. Uh, all right. I have a chipper. All right. 100 wall ball shots, 14 and 10. And I wrote to 10 feet. Nice job. Even though I don't think they'll do that. So I'm breaking my own rule right off the bat with I think to do what I want, but I couldn't, I just couldn't, it didn't feel right. I felt dirty. <laughs> I felt dirty. Uh, 75 toes to bar. So one in a wall bot, 75 toes to bar. 95, or sorry, 50 overhead squats at 95 and 65. Uh, why? Because overhead squats, we're, we've got a master's demographic. Let's not forget about that. And a teen demographic in the field. All right? So... 75 or 50 overhead squats is a, you do not advance to semifinals if you cannot overhead squat 95 and 65 pounds. You don't belong there. You are missing a key piece of fitness as far as 10 general physical skills, uh, all being basically at the bottom part of the, <laughs> the list. Right, right. 50 overhead squats at 95 and 65 and then 25 bar muscle ups. So I've got the squat overhead fatigue for high volume into the core toes to bar, which we didn't have in a big chunk. 50 overheads, which is a squat overhead fatigue movement, but it's a step up from the med ball with half the reps. And then 25 bar muscles, because we did bar muscles in the open, and why not cash out with 25? Because the fittest people trying to qualify for semifinals will separate themselves in the volume of toes to bar, the ability to handle big sets of overhead squats, and then big sets of bar muscles to finish. I like that one. Thank I like you. the I like the chipper of it too. I like I mean, being able to I think and I I don't do that often enough. I I, I don't think as far as like programming stuff where you just have those big chunks like that because yeah. that there is a definite stimulus to doing that where everyone feels great for half the reps mm -hmm. and it's like how did you really pace that first half? Yeah, did you really work the second half. Right, and I feel like these are cousins. What well, like to me? Well, I know. I say this, I'm going to say it like I know that. Toes to bar and bar muscle-ups are in the same family. A bar yeah. muscle-up isn't an evolution of the pull-up. 
It's actually an evolution of the toes to bar. It's the same movement pattern. It's the same anterior core. One just goes above the bar. One just goes to the bar. It's not a big pull up. Like if you do a really big chest to bar pull up, that will not get you a bar muscle up. If you yeah, do a really yeah. big toes to bar, you'll actually get closer to a bar muscle up. But that's just here to there. And the 100 to 75, right? The 50 to 25, I just feel like that overhead fatigue for high volume and overhead fatigue squatting high volume, they're just, there's a cool little relationship in there and it evolves with less reps. So that's what I was looking at. I like it. Thank you. Um, okay, my number two, it's a variation of one of uh, the first workout that Dave did when he programmed for the dot com. Oh. Um, and I was playing with a bunch of different ways. Like maybe I should make it be the rower. Maybe I should make it be, you know, double unders. And I didn't want to use those elements. And so I was thinking, okay, how can we do it to where it would be class setting? Mm -hmm. Um, that is going to allow what I think the athletes that are in that realm should be able to move keeping them within a time cap, uh, a time frame that, that's going to be appropriate to them and is going to say like, okay, if you are proficient in these things, you, sh you deserve to be going to the semi. So mine was a uh, 10 minute time cap. You have eight rounds of eight single arm hang clean and jerks of 50 pounds only, 50 and 35 mm. on each arm. So eight on one arm, eight on the other arm, and then four ring muscle ups. Oh, so 10 minute cap, you have eight rounds of eight, eight, and four. Eight, eight, and four. Four ring muscle ups. Four, four. ring muscle ups, yeah. So if you look at the volume, it's not that high off of that like CrossFit. Uh, What's the weight? Uh, uh, 50 and 35. It's okay. the regular, the classic. Yeah. The classic setup. Um, uh, I, I think what's nice with that is okay, we're getting a little bit of volume. Um, it's not, a it's not a snatch, which we've done a lot of, we haven't done a lot of hang clean and jerks. I know we've done it like once or twice. Um, and it's just something to kind of burn the shoulders a little bit since we just yeah. came off of some <laughs> stuff on mine and then yeah. into, into the ring muscle up. And, uh, I like, you know, I went back and forth, like is okay with that skill. Is that skill, the correct skill? And I think that it is because part of me initially was designing what the third set would be on the final event of the open mm -hmm. where we went from pull-ups to bar muscle-ups and then i would have wanted to have like a ring yeah muscle. yeah oh so, yeah it started kind of in that evolution mm -hmm. and then it kind of melt molded down to this but I I, I I i think it would be fun again i think it would be a fun I like it a short and usable yeah uh station two finish uh, your two 20 minute cap workouts back to back those are mine both are 20 minutes they're 20 minutes to allow people to play longer that's it this will take less than that, but I just put, I put in caps, like time caps for those that are going to get stuck and just let them get as far as they can. If I was doing time caps for elite individuals, it would just be, it'd be wildly different. Um, that's why my time caps are long. Well, and time cap is different than like AMRAP. Right. You yeah. Know? I mean, for some, it might be an AMRAP, but for, if you're looking for your top athletes, Mm -hmm. you know so and, and the other thing that, that what it does is it it forces everyone to get that amount of work in if right you're going to be on the playing field for that amount of time you finish it you do all the work or you're on the playing field for that amount of time yeah so my time caps are longer for people to be able to play more or get further down that's why but that's a great uh great observation and i was aware of that and i would have done something else if we had different <laughs> Uh, <laughs> parameters. All right, that's two. I like that one, Bill. Oh, thanks. I like that one a lot. I like the hang, clean and jerk, single arm thing. I don't know why. It, it's, I think that it's pretty cool because you can do some decent volume with it. Yeah. It's not, it's not, it's not, um, at least on the offset, it's not, in, it's not real intimidating. Yeah. It feels better for me. Just like, I don't have to go all the way to the floor and pull it yeah. off. Like that's my least favorite part of a dumbbell snatch is like, hinging and coming through and then yeah. going overhead. So I, yeah, maybe that is why. All right. Number three, here's my third one. I was thinking about, I wanted to get Grace and Isabel in there because mm. those are classic benchmarks, 30 clean and jerks for time at 135 and 95, 30 snatches for time at 130 and 95. All that's basically power, but you can squat if you want to. And then I was thinking of the standard from the CrossFit Games finale back in 2019, which was... 
correct me if I'm wrong, it was like 30, it was basically Grace, 30 ring muscle ups, Isabel. Okay. That yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yep. And I was like, all right, let's play around with that. And so I, I broke it up. So it's 10 clean and jerks, 10 wall walks, 10 snatches, all at 135 and 95. 10 clean and jerks, 20 handstand push ups, anyway. 10 snatches, 10 clean and jerks, 30 strict handstand push ups, 10 snatches. Now, my separator here is your ability to cycle a barbell well, the fatigue, stamina, and strength that it's going to take away from your inverted pressing because you're going overhead with every single movement you're doing, and then increasing the volume while increasing actually the difficulty of the skill. So as much as I thought volume might separate people with toes to bar and then fatigue separate people on bar muscle-ups, in a pulling fashion, I thought let's get, a, let's get inverted for one, and add volume with the skill, will separate. So this is like separating people with weight and reps. Now it's just skill and reps. With a 15 oh, minute cap. Put that, I just put that. Yeah, sparkling. That's gra right. Yeah, Grace. That's Grace, right. Yeah. That's, that's right. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Uh, yeah, I like that one too. Gord, why not wall facing? Because I know Bill had them in there, but I don't need them in there at that volume. Plus, I think that will be too much for what was projected to us. Um, I don't have anything against them. I'm just going with like, I don't see them doing it based off what we're told. But if they do, something like 15 that Bill had makes more sense than 30 that I have here. Especially and, and, and I had it in there, honestly, I had it in there more because... Dude, I really... I wouldn't be the, the one that programs mm -hmm. a wall-facing hand sample like what like what what am i trying to test by doing that you know what i mean like i'm looking at some shoulder pressing work i'm not trying to just make it weird so that it's difficult just because it's different you know mm -hmm. um but i can see that being put in because we have done that before that's yeah. the only reason why i put that yeah. in. so uh, uh, but i just don't want them at 30. yeah i get it uh grant they should repeat the standard again to the games only 10 minutes when we get to do it i think that should be the final for semifinals this year but you know that's just me Make a lot more people do it. That's cool. That's right. That's right. But yes, I agree. Okay. We should come back. All Number right, Bill, what do you got? Here comes my long one. So this will be a 20-minute AMRAP. Ooh. Um, the rep set will be uh, two reps, and then four reps, and then six reps, and then eight reps, and you just mm. keep on going up until the 20-minute. Okay. The movements, I have. it's a triplet. Uh, deadlifts, 225, 155. Burpee pull-ups. Ooh. Toes to bar. Ah. Huh. So you're you're spending some time on the bar, but I like the uh, the midline that actually creeps up on this. Obviously, in the toes to bar, you're going to have that, but the midline work you're going to have with the deadlifts, the burpee pull-ups of that extension and then you know having to keep tight as you jump up to get the pull up every the whatever the whatever the standard was it was chest to bar is what we did burpee chest to bar pull up is that what we had um no i think it's burpee chin over bar okay that's fine and it just had to be out of your reach yeah whatever that whatever that standard whatever that standard is okay um so you do two of them Ooh. four of them and then you do six of them and you do eight of them deadlift burpee pull ups down. toes to bar yeah because on the on the pull-ups, you really aren't using your hands. I mean, it's not that no. grippy. You're just kind of getting up there. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it allows you to keep moving. And so I think that that, uh, that will actually kind of hook some people into some places that might, you know, tempo-wise, mm -hmm. where they get to that, like, 11-minute realm, and they're like, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and cool. every, I think everyone can no, do this. You. I think this is one that everyone can do. It is. So, they, like, if you're in quarterfinals, you should be able to do pull-ups. And the other thing is, I, I like what I like different about this versus what we did in the open. The open, the numbers didn't change, and so the transition became such a big deal. Here, the numbers get bigger, so you have a lot of quick transitions in the beginning. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. Towards the end, you don't have as many transitions because the chunks of work that you're doing are just so are just uh, large. Yes. So, and I think what we want, I needed a long one in there. And so this was my long one and it puts some volume again at some weight that I think is, uh, is decent. And if you get, get up around 20, I mean, you're hitting 20 toes to, or a hundred toes to bar. <laughs> <Maybe. laughs>
Hi, you're probably wondering how I got here. Well, it all started with Bill had an idea. <laughs> oh, that's great. I mean, if nothing else, my 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 classes are going to be doing these. So yeah, I'm get ready, I'm going to do these. If 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 they're not in quarterfinals, I'll be doing them. All right, that's three. Final one. Here's what I have. I have three triplets, all with 30 reps, so 30 front squats at weight one, 30 box jump overs, 30 shouldered overhead at the same weight, and I spelled shoulder wrong. I realize that. I got the other ones right. No, I didn't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Rest one minute, add weight. 30, 30, 30, add weight, 30, 30, 30. My weights, 65 and 95, 135 and 90, sorry, yeah, 135, 95, 185, 135. So the reps are the same, the weight goes up. Front squats, because I've seen them a lot in quarters, especially with the teams, individuals, it's been there as well. Box jump overs, just something to see if your legs still got any spring in them, and then shoulder overhead and Basically, I've taken away all of your superpowers for a push jerk, and now we'll get to see how good your barbell cycling is with technique. What were the weights on those again? Uh, 95, 135, 185, 65, 95, 135. And that's the same for the front squats and the shoulder overhead? Same for the front squats and shoulder overhead. So basically, your last round, if you get there, because the cap's 15. Right, right. And, which means you have to be doing these in like four something because the minute rests in there, is 30 front squats at 185, 30 box up overs, 30 shoulder overhead at 185 at the very end. And if I can't do extremely heavy weight, then I'll do heavy weight at high volume under fatigue. And if you're strong, then you will be able to get through that. So I'm testing your strength without maxing you out. Mm -hmm. Um. I've seen you do this a handful of times where, and I know that, that CrossFit, is, I'm starting to see that too, that, that rest in the middle of the race. Yes. Um, do you think that that's important to have that? Or, or why are you choosing to have it? Just to get a little bit of a recovery to get into that next Legit, set? What I wanted it to be was a set every five minutes. And okay. then it's your total time accumulated. Why I didn't do that because we're taking an online with a weird demographic is like, if I did every five minutes, you would, people will get capped in the first round. So they won't get to play for very long. I put the minute in there because if I didn't have it in there and just said, do this for time, you're going to have a weight change problem in the middle of your workout from shoulder overhead back to front squats. Oh, got it. Got it. Okay. So the, the rest in there is more for ease of setup and weight change and ability for those to take on what I would have preferred is one set every five minutes, your total cumulative time of actual work. So if you do it fast in the first five minutes, you're going to get more rest. Okay. But I didn't do that because people will get capped in the first five. And I'm again, my time caps and is with thought of, hey, this might take you 15 minutes just to get into the second round. Right. Right. Or to the last round and see how many squats you can get. So th right. that's why uh, I put the minutes in there. Are, are you making it to, uh, in your, in your uh, when you envision this, uh, are, does the, is the athlete the only one that can change the weight? So are no. they having to utilize that minute no, time? No, they can have, someone? someone can help them. So like okay. they're just focused on the work. On the, okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, they can get help with their bar. All right, cool. That's it. Okay, my last one. Um, and this was, um, th there were some elements of, of things that you were thinking of, you know, with like Isabel and Grace and mm -hmm. some of those different times. I, I was flirting with those a little bit. Okay. Um, I liked the sprint of the uh, 30, 20, 10. Uh, that was the, the mm -hmm. last one. Was that 23, 5? 23, yeah. Yeah. I like that one. Um, and, you know, we talked about the time frame of that one, how, how the, 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 the guys were getting done at like 2.30, the girls were getting done like at three minutes, whatever that looked like. Um, and I was thinking like, okay, 
I looked at that event and I saw that there wasn't enough work to be done to make it a separator. There were, mm. I think on the men's side, there were eight ties in one spot. There were eight people that had the exact same thing. And on the women's side in the top 50, there were six or seven groupings of ties within the first okay. 50. So I'm like, okay, I really like that one. I like that also for a final. So mm. what I did is I beefed it up a little bit um, okay. rep, uh, volume wise, same time cap, sort of seven minute time cap. Um, but what we have is uh, a 40 calorie row. So this will be 40, 30, 20, 10 is what it'll be. 40 calorie row, 30 burpee box jump overs at 30 and 24. I'm not going 30 and 30. Okay. Which will also help the, the women's time um, okay. come down. Uh, 20 cleans at 185, 135. Mm. And then 10 snatches at 185, 135. Uh, uh. All right. So we have 135 for the women. Yeah. yeah. 24 inches. 185 for the men. Yep. 30, 30 inches. inches. I like that. I mean, I figured that would add, if you look at the time frames, it would add maybe another uh, one, two, you know, another three and a half minutes mm -hmm. to the time frames that people were having. So if you're best of the best or up there around three minutes, yeah. you're right under here. And we talked about it before that, okay, maybe we should have had a time cap, you know, on the 30, 20, 10, where they, if it's like, if they can't snatch the 185, okay, well, you're going to have a time frame. Well, now here, a clean is an easier weight for people to move. Yep. Um, and if they don't have the time frame that the, the time cap is short enough, that it'll cap people appropriately where they need to be capped, I think. Mm -hmm. So I like this. Oh, Evan, Evan, no jump rope at quarterfinals, crossovers, no crossovers. <laughs> crossovers They're not going to be crossovers. No. No. And they might did, have jump rope. Dude, we did so many jump ropes in the, in open, yeah. in the open. We did lots of jump rope in the open. That's why we have box jumps. Right. We're evolving the jump. I like that. I like that you have a short one in there. I didn't like, I necessarily didn't have a short one in there. Um, I have an interval one in there. Yeah. Like that first interval is going to be fairly quick for elite athletes. Yeah. yeah. And, and a lot of mine was like, okay, because I've heard Boston say this, like everybody will be able to start, not everybody will be able to finish. And I feel like that's the case for a lot of ours. I think so. I'm looking back on mine. I mean, I think everyone can do the first movement. <laughs> <laughs> they should be, they should right, do okay. So I think everyone should look okay. So let's review. <clears throat> first one, mine 10, 20, 30, 40. So ascending rep schemes, cal row, lateral burpees over the rower, alternating dumbbell snatches at 70 and 50. Time cap 20. It's not going to take 20, but it'll allow everybody to get as far as they can with whatever fitness they have. What do you think the fastest times would be? On yours? Yeah. Oh. 12 to 15? Um, one, one, one. Um, three, four and a half. Six, nine. Uh, it's like 14, 15? Yeah. Oh, yes. 12 to 15. If you take the set of 20, it's like a minute each. <clears throat> right which is double the 40 <laughs> no, no it's not but i mean just as a general yeah and then like your sets of 10 say you know cut it in half so just right. to get some roundish numbers mm -hmm. yeah two four six yeah i think so okay yeah 12 to 15 for the elite they'll always surprise you I didn't. I didn't put a time on this one. I'm on. I, I had twelve minutes. Twelve minute cap. 12 so I think minutes. I brought the. I think I brought the cap down. I think it was fifteen on the one that they had originally. Oh but yeah. I, I brought it down to twelve. Time cap twelve. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty one front squats, nine wall walks, nine front squat, or fifteen, fifteen, nine. Yeah. Now for the deficit, is this anyway or strict? I'll have? say anyway. 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 Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 
I like less of those reps. Of the which one? Of the your wall facing. 21 at the end was just like was rough. Yeah. Uh, workout two. 175, 50 overhead. I like that. Wall balls. Wall balls are wall balls. Yeah. Everyone can do them. Yep. And you have 20 minutes, so chip your way through them five at a time if you want to. Or 10 every 30 seconds, which is what I did at regionals, and I was done in four minutes and something, four minutes and change. Yep. With lots of rest. Five minutes, 15 toes a bar every minute. Do that. You said it. You said what you said there, and the way I always look at it is I just Tabata it. Because if I do oh. 20 seconds, that ends up being 10 reps. Oh, well, yeah. So there, <laughs> it's, it's the exact same thing, just said differently, but it literally the exact same thing. Yeah. Josh, you're right. When grit is, that's why I, it, it, Josh says is the most compelling tests are ones that where grit is the limiter. And I think that's why the 100 bar facing burpees has been such a hit. I agree. Like, you have to have the fitness, but you have to have the desire to do what you need to do. Not that you are incapable of, which I do like. Uh, 75 toes of bar, five minutes overhead squats, two to three. Yeah. yeah. 25 bar muscle ups under fatigue. Three. Three to five. <laughs> so, well, yeah, depending on the group, yeah. Depending on the group. So, yeah, another 15 to 18, but a hard 20 for everybody else. <laughs> right, right, right. And then yours, time cap 10 minutes, uh, what, 30 seconds for one arm, the other, another 30 seconds. Yeah, ish. Right. Not, not even that, not even that. I would say a minute to 90 seconds per round. Per round, totally. And I was, gauge, that's what I mean. I was gauging it towards what the, what Dave's first one was, which was the 200 meter run, which is about yeah, a minute yeah. and then three ring muscle ups. So you're coming in under fatigue. Um, you're not going to be breathing the same way on this mm -hmm. one. Um, but I wanted to kind of keep around. And I think like when we were doing that, everyone was doing it like us, right. um, in our chat and stuff. It was like that doing it in about, uh, about, I think we were like yeah, right under around that minute. Yeah minute and yeah i think a minute seconds. to a minute 30 is going to be your range of abilities for those that are decent everyone else is just going to try to get as far as they can but like a minute's not slow 20 seconds per that's just eight into eight into set the dumbbell down do your four yep feels a lot like uh that transition format that you have in um nate right right Right. And to, to, to answer this question, because I've, I've seen it, um, this Ali Omora, <laughs> um, I purposely made them tight because I don't want people hanging out for a really long time, like mm -hmm. in this particular stage, like your, your best athletes are going to be able to get way deep. And I think that that's what we want. I want people to, to really be able to push it and Again, I'm not, I'm not trying to program to the 24 and a half percent person, right? They can all play, but the race is for the, the, the top 100, the top 100. Yeah. You know, of the group. We're so, only taking 40 to semifinals. Right. So we do need a big separator with even a small work at, I like how mine caps were longer and then yours. Are, we like went the opposite way, <laughs> but I totally see what you're saying. You it's know, like, I don't stand here for 15 minutes looking at the rings. Come on. Well, and it's like, <laughs> I'm trying to think, right. And I'm trying to think like, okay, um, what, what makes it to I where like this I want to try it. Cause my, I, my ring muscle ups are just coming back online. I mean, dude, it's only 32 muscle ups. Like 30 okay, is the standard. You know what I mean? So nonchalantly, please. 32 for me at the moment is not. A <laughs> no, I, I, well, that's true. I, I, that's relative, but like when, in, in, know, the, in, the, in the scheme of, of, no, of right. our, of our sport, 30 has always been the number. Like yeah, you usually right. don't I see actually, less than 30 programmed. I use that number a lot when I program muscle ups in a workout. Right. Are we getting to the basic, the basic level of ring muscle up proficiency, which is, can you do 30? Right. And here you get a, uh, you get to come off there. How do I want to say you get a break? You get to come off the rings. <laughs> For an amount of time, you're not wrong. You do the <laughs> so it's not 30 unbroken, but um, yeah. What I, I like Josh is saying here is like I could see in this format of how much is on the line 
that the intensity is going to put elites in a level like people will fail because they they panic pace the beginning because they think it's going to be so fast. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Grant Gilmore, the best analogy for everyone can play, but the best will race is the various big cities marathons. Okay. Lots totally. of people walk and run and some Kenyans and Ethiopians are running sub five minute miles. Right. Yes. Right. yes. Right. But they don't, they don't change the race for the people that are, Walking it. Yeah. There is a time cap though. Yep. <laughs> I yep. do know that. Yep. <laughs> uh, all right. Event two. Um, mine was, oh yeah, the clean and jerks and snatches with 135 and 95, basically spreading out Grace and Isabel across the triplets. Do you, are you going to make the snatches? Are they squat? No. Okay. Anyway. Okay. Anyway. I like, um, I think that I like how it's broken up again it does a great job of still putting the volume in there that you need where you can push for like the top end athletes. Yeah. But it's not so high volume at a particular weight that it just buries the, like we did thrusters at 135 and 95 to get here. And in my opinion right. of how I put things together, thrusters and snatches are about basically usually the same weights with off maxes and what you can cycle. Yeah. Yeah. And station two, this is this is the one part of where they will have a line of where the dumbbell can be relative to the rings. <laughs> that I know they will have. It can't be five feet. If, if they were going to put it right under, then you're the dumbass for doing that. <laughs> I mean, at some point, you have to decide whether you're going to tie your shoes or not. Pedro, you know are you related to Josh, or is this just like uh, <laughs> is this your second account, Josh? <laughs> Chase, that workout is my wet dream. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, 10 clean and jerks, 10 wall walks, 10 snatches, clean and jerks, 20 handstand push ups anyway, and then 30 strict at the end. Uh, 95 and 135. Speed on there, 10 clean and jerks. Uh, now, here's the cool part the elites will, I don't say you need to to go touch and go. They will, dude. It's 135. But should you? It's all about the last 30 strict handstand push-ups. Should you go touch and go? Not can you. We know they can. We know they can without fear of anything. But you do 10, 10 wall walks, 10 unbroken, 10, 20, 10, and another 10, and then you get to that wall inverted upside down for 30 strict. If here's the thing, if you Dude, Colton Merton would crush this okay. workout, yeah, that's one person, but I'm just saying like those that are trying to get the semifinals on average, if you, not that they can't, it's kind of like what we just talked about in your last one with the dumbbell clean and jerks and muscle ups, right. all of them can do four. It's only 32, as you right. said, like an asshole, <laughs> <laughs> but do they make a mistake of over racing too soon because they think there's not very much separation. And I feel like that'll be drastically different by the time they get there. There's a lot make, of shoulder before if, that. Ex that is everything standard. is overhead in this workout yep. for a yep. reason. Yep. And if you get to the 30 and you get to any point that you're doing less than five with a five to seven second break, you are not going to semifinals. Because if you start doing fives and having to rest 10 seconds, how many of those are you going to do? You don't have time to waste 30 seconds in this workout if you're elite. Heaven forbid you get down to twos or ones because you dipped too hard into this cycling a barbell, which is what? 10 isn't going to get you as far as you think cycling than you just doing quick singles. And you'll make it up on 10 wall walks because those are going to take 90 seconds to two minutes. And should you even race those? Like there's a lot of traps in here. I feel like people are just going to be like, oh, yeah, 10. I'm like, it's, no, actually, no. it's actually real similar um, to, the row, to the row on the open, if you were to go a five second slower pace, yes. it was only yes. a three second difference. That's right. it. That's it. And the so you're right. What you had to do. I, I just, the, I think I intentionally would put you a lot singles of traps. Or would you do fives? I would do singles. Wow. Because you're my so much limited. better at that than me. I, I cannot do just like you get the, well, and, and that's dude that I think that's a swimmer in you because mm -hmm. you know how to hold a pace for lap after lap after yeah. lap after lap. Whereas I would be more like in spurts. I would like I'll do five and stop. Five, stop. But and there it is because you're Tabata brained. 
Yep. And I'm this every 30 seconds brained. Yeah. To- I, th- it's, I know. It's so funny, dude. It's so funny. It's like uh, maybe I get done in 30 seconds and you go five, rest 10, do five. Like, right. all right. <laughs> hey, Bill. Good to see you. Right. <laughs> I see we got to the wall at the same time in two different ways. Right. Um, all right. And then yours is your longer one. Yeah. And your basic barrier of entry is small reps and then the old water tank raising of reps in a room two four six eight ten round around who floats i mean even until you get to 10 like you're good i i think everyone would be around that like eight ten ten mark at around what six minutes Mm -hmm. for 10 but then that's what that's what's so great about these ones is Everyone gets to that point and they're like, dude, I am killing it right now. And then they yeah. realize that they really haven't done anything because the next set, the next two sets that they do just equaled all four sets that they did before that. Right. You know, and it's, it, it really, it, it settles into a, into a pace at that point that you can either get locked into like a little too slow or mm-hmm. um, you realize that you've, you've buried yourself and it's at minute eight and you have 12 more minutes to go. <laughs> yeah so, yeah true i get past the 10 i'm like oh my gosh there's so much time left and i've already done 30 of all this yep. yep all right last one you got your sprint chipper mm-hmm. which i like i like there's a fast one in there i like there's a fast one in there yeah and then i have my interval based volume strength stamina test i would say fit strength not max strength Stamina, I guess, is the word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Strength, stamina, and power, really. There's a lot of jumping and explosion. No, there totally is. I mean, you have to, you have to have some, you're, you, you have to have a decent capacity for sure. Like, you can't be, be weak and this. succeed in this workout. You can't. No. But you also have to be fit to succeed in this workout. And that's what I think is real important about the quarterfinal mark. It, it, no matter what the parameters are of the, it can be done as in a class, you know, class setting, and there's not a lot of uh, floor plan type stuff and basic equipment. Right. Because of that, thing. It, it still has to be, you, you want to advance the stuff and the stuff, meaning the intensity, the, the, the skill level and the weight. Mm-hmm. Um, but it doesn't, even now, and look at what we've said. We haven't once said that a one rep max lift needs to be programmed in here or that a handstand hold, a single handstand hold is something. Like there should be, it should still be so far removed from any sort of specialist at all. Yeah. It's got to be general fitness across the board. All we should do is move up the level of that fitness. Mm-hmm. Like, okay. Yeah. Get a little bit heavier. Not, cr- not crazy. No. But a little bit heavier. I mean, we can test the other stuff. And it, because, and if you, w- when you bring the weights down, right, you know, and you don't have them real high, then it's like, okay, the way you, the way you are testing the strength on that is you have to increase the volume of that. Yes. You know, and that's why you did with your, I mean, it's, that's 90 shouldered overhead. <laughs> yeah. 90. Which is, dude, you did a lot of pressing. Yeah. This one and then the other one with the, the, uh, only 30. The over well, I know, but the overhead squat one and the oh, yeah, yeah, handstand yeah. walk and the wall walks. True. So you have a lot, and and I think I could see that because you were talking a lot uh, earlier about how having that and putting some shoulder to overhead in there because it, it seems to be lacking a lot of times. You know, whether it's Hanson, but I mean, we we I think we don't use shoulder to overhead often enough. No, as a, as a movement. Um, but yeah, those are those are good. That was fun. If nothing time. else, all of you at home, you have eight workouts here that you can eight. program for your gym that you just got for free. Yes. Eight badass workouts. Dude, I'm telling you right now, my class is going to do these. I love all these. Yeah. I mean, I'm biased for clearly four of them, but <laughs> I, I, I want to do, I want to try all these. I don't know. I don't know if I can do snatches yet. Is it that rota- the the rotation? Uh, yes. And it's, I, I don't have this, all the full 
range of motion back so my scap isn't sliding as much as I need it to yeah. to get in that overhead position. So it's almost kind of like that holding. Oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. hate yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, I used to not have to deal with that. I know a lot of Masters athletes that do, but, man, I'd like to get it back. I'm getting there. I'm like you, 95%. You will. You will. So the, the stability is there, just the uh, mobility and range of motion is it. All right. That'll do it. That'll do it for us today. For today. But again, I get, apparently I need to go study. Bill needs to study up. I need to study. Because tomorrow, it goes down for the first time in history. Cross at Jeopardy coming to the mainstream. John Young, Bill Grunler, Taylor Self, 1215 Central tomorrow, 1015 Pacific, if you're on Bill's side of the country or world. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it seems like a different planet. It's, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm living in it. But Cross of Jeopardy will make its debut. We will have an awesome time. What will be great is you guys will be able to play along with us. So make your own little scorecard. If you got the question right, give yourself the points. If you did not, take them away. And at the end of the day, we will have a victor. And uh, that victor will get a special winner's package from Bob's Naturals as well as Bubs being the presenting sponsor for this game show specifically, which I am so thankful for. We love working with them. They've been fantastic, along with Element 26, who's just been a huge supporter of the show. And, uh, yeah, semifinals, or uh, sorry, quarterfinals. Quarterfinals. Quarterfinals will get released next week. Um, after the show tomorrow, Monday, we'll have a Strength of Field preview show. We'll go recap what happened in the Open with our Strength of Field system. We will revisit what that system looks like now with team athletes that may or may not have decided to take themselves out of the individual competition, how that's changed the landscape of the strength of field and game spot allocations and preview what's to come for also, I don't know if you guys, if I've expressed this is that we're also going to watch with excitement who was actually qualifying for semifinals. So the first half of those shows will be our semifinal strength of field. Wouldn't it be nice theory in practice? But the second half is we're going to follow the semifinals. Who's in the top 40 out of the open? Right. Ranked. We'll talk about that. We've got that. Then we'll talk about after the first submission window of quarterfinals, who is in, who is out after the halfway point, And then we'll wrap things up on Monday of the final unofficial standings of quarterfinals, as well as what our strength of field system will look. So we've got next week, we've got a bunch of shows planned using our strength of field while real time following who's in, who's out of semifinals in all seven regions. So we've got a lot of great stuff for you guys next week. And uh, all that is thanks to people that support us. So you guys that support us, when you guys are our members here, you guys support us on Patreon, our partners of the show. So thank you. Um, again, thank you guys for being here. I love it. So thanks for uh, keeping us energized. Thanks for keeping us on us as we uh, y'all keep us entertained as much as we entertain you guys. <laughs> but, uh, oh, God, I just switch this. I hate being on the right side of you. There you go. <laughs> it's like we're two old people in a bed. Sleeping on the wrong side, side of the bed. <laughs> we get an argument when we get to a hotel room. <laughs> not, not you and me. Sorry, let me preference that. Me and my wife. He's like, no, this is your side. I'm like, no, if we were to take our bed <laughs> oriented this way, I would be on this side. <laughs> the stupid arguments you have with, uh, with significant others as you guys get older. It's uh, <laughs> absolutely ridiculous. But um, thanks, guys, for joining us. We hope you like the workouts. We'll see what they are next week for real. We'll also go over them after they are released the day of on Wednesday. I think, are you good in the afternoon for that Wednesday? Um, I believe so. That's not the second or fourth. I should be able to. I'll, I'll let you know. Let me know. I'll let you know. And I'll let you guys know. Yeah. If not, we'll do, uh, we'll figure it out. But, we'll uh, yeah. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Tell your friends, please come. We'd love to have you. It's going to be a blast. And we'll test these three guys' knowledge as much as we test yours. Other than that, have a great rest of your day. See you tomorrow.